Hi folks, uh, today we have the Squire SAL40 uh, padlock, which is a, an aluminum bodied uh, padlock sold by Squire, which is a uh, British uh, lock company. And it, the body is very, very similar to the American lock 1100 series, but it has a master lock keyway uh, in the core. So, I got this uh, sent to me yesterday by uh, Rick Moore from England, uh, and I thought I would try to get this on video for you. So, uh, I've got a thin pry bar, which fills up the keyway reasonably well, and uh, a 18 thousandths Peterson short hook, uh, because even though this keyway does look fairly simple. Uh, setting the pins higher uh, requires getting around this warding, so a thinner pick will help with this. Uh, and let's see what we can do. So I'm just going to start from the front and get a decent click out of pin one, a little bit of a click out of pin two. Three seems to be springy, or might have been a click out of pin four. Going back to the front, okay, nice solid click out of one now. And getting into a little bit of a false set. going through here. I'll lighten up on the tension a bit so we can get some counter rotation. I'm pretty sure we've got some spools in here to deal with. There we go. That's something. Looks like a deeper false set now, I think. So one, two, three. on three a bit, and there we go. Open. So, just for the record, this is the key for it. Come on. So you can see uh, number one, fairly short cut, uh, fairly deep cut on number two, two very high cuts on uh, three and four, and then another very deep cut on five. So, Let's get in here. Uh, this has a Phillips head screw down at the bottom of the hole for the shackle toe. Let me just get the pin tray back over here. And there we go. So you can see disassembly very similar to American lock. And even internally, let's uh, get some light in there. you can see pretty similar to uh, American lock. All right, so we'll put the body aside for a moment. We've got a lot of grease on this core, but we just have to deal with that. Uh, and a little C-clip there. So we're going to switch to a flathead screwdriver here. And Well, this is going to be easier if we lock this back up. We do have the keys, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Let's see if we can get this clip slide off. It does not want to do that. It's starting to go. There we go. Out a little bit now. There we go. So that's the C clip off the back. And we've got key 
again. That's a dog. It seems to have some sort of rotation limiter. Well, I guess we can start by... Oh, there we go. So it's important that we get this uh, cammed surface on the back of the uh, plug facing towards the top or towards the upper chambers. And actually, I'm going to get my HPC hollow followers out because this has a very severe step there, and I do not want pins getting trapped in there. Well, here we go. Get that over there. Oh, that is very stiff. But there we go. Well, let's see what we have here in chamber one. pin. Standard. Oh, just lost pin two. It's on the floor somewhere. I'll find it later. Standard pins, key pins, and let's see what we've got at the top. Okay, so got one standard pin so far. One spool pin, number two. A spool pin in number three. A spool pin in number four. And a standard pin in number five. And looks like all standard springs in there. So, what we've got here is... Well, now we're bit closer. Hopefully you can see that now. No real serrations anywhere. Just uh, these three fairly deep spool pins and uh, all standard uh, key pins. There we go. Overall, not a bad lock. Offers a little bit of a challenge, but uh, you know, still pickable. And given the shape of this plug, I'm going to say that this is also probably very susceptible to the American lock bypass tool. So, just keep that in mind if you uh, do run across one of these Squire uh, SAL40s, and uh, just in case you're planning to use that to lock up something sensitive. Well, until next time, uh, stay safe and happy picking, and thanks again to Rick Moore for the lock.